It's that time of year again, time for the Jacksonville 48 hour film project. And let me introduce to you the co-city producers. We've got Adam and Monique Madrid. Good to see you again. Thank you for having us, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for having us. All right, Adam, tell us about the competition and what we can expect. Basically, we got uh, filmmakers that are gonna be competing against one another. Uh, it is a competition. So yes, uh, basically the 40 hour film project is uh, team gets 40 hours to make a movie. It's, it's writing, uh, filming, and editing, wow. and submitting it in within the 48 hours. Um, so they come out, uh, it's gonna be at the Jesse on, May, on April 29th, and they uh, choose their genre. So they don't know what they're filming. They don't know if it's gonna be comedy, buddy film, horror, suspense, thriller. And we're gonna give them three elements, which is a prop, character, and a line. And then from there, uh, we tell them, all right, you guys got 48 hours, go. And then they race off and yeah, and then uh, then they got like I said, the 40 hours to drop it off. That sounds so exciting, but so nerve wracking. So Monique, what makes this year special? We had such a great response from last year. A lot of new teams came. Um, and so we were able to get a bigger venue. So like Adam said, we're gonna be at the Jesse for kickoff. So that's a change. Then also we're gonna be at the WJCT Studios, which is so great. Again, local touches. So we're really honored to have it there. And we're gonna to try to do food trucks this year. So we're gonna have some food trucks. We're gonna have some liquor vendors for our filmmakers who want to just partake in cocktails. But for the filmmakers who don't wanna partake in cocktails, we have law crafters as well too. So Manifest Distillery and law crafters will be out uh, serving us some drinks to make it fun festivities. And we're just trying to make it more of a celebration and just keep, you know, inspiring filmmakers to network um, and collaborate with one another because we notice that when they do, more projects are being done in Jacksonville. What about benefits to the filmmakers who want to compete? Making a film in 48 hours is tough, especially when we throw elements at you that you only find out on kickoff day. I think it sharpens their skills. I think it takes their uh, their filmmaking to another level. Um, so that's a benefit. And then for the city winners, when they go on to compete, they can get inspired by other filmmakers internationally and collaborate outside of their normal local network. So I think there's some benefits to that. And then also the networking. We make it a very big point to um, have networking as a part. Um, we have uh, meet and greets throughout the year um, to celebrate the filmmakers. And it gives them a chance to like celebrate geek on each other's stuff, but then also start the conversation of, hey, I would love to work on your next project or hey, how did you do that shot? And so the skills, are expanding amongst one another. And also it gives the actors a chance to network with different um, film troops so that way they can also have more chances of being seen on the big screen. And then of course, who doesn't love seeing their film on the big screen? And then lastly, the cash prizes. Because we do cash prizes, we make that a part of the festival each year. Uh, it gives them a chance to recoup their money back or to invest in another short film. What happens next, though, if a filmmaker wins? They go on to this uh, competition called Film of Palooza. So it's the filmmakers that uh, will be represented, that will represent Jacksonville, and they're going to compete against the world. From there, wow. um, it's going to be an amazing opportunity for the, uh, the local filmmakers to get an opportunity to, to network with these other filmmakers from, you know, Japan, uh, you know, Paris, Argentina, just all over the place. And, uh, you know, again, it's just going to be the whole world coming into one city, which is actually is going to be in Hollywood this year. So wow. the, the filmmaker, yeah, their movie is going to be screened in Hollywood, LA, and it's gonna be just the lights, everything's gonna be amazing. What if people wanna come out to the screenings? Is that possible? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we are gonna have uh, some uh, a group A, group B, and group C screening on May 19th, 20th, and 21st at WJCT Studios. And But the, the main one, the best of, and the award show will be on Tuesday, uh, May 31st, again, at WJCT Studios. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of activities going on that night. So again, we highly recommend everyone to go check out the screenings, but don't, definitely don't miss the best of because you're gonna see the best, the brightest of what Jacksonville can bring that night. So if they wanna register, they can go to the website, a 48 hourfilmcom forward slash Jacksonville. Um, they can email us for more information at Jacksonville at 48 hourfilmcom And they can find us on our social medias, whether it's Facebook at Jacksonville 48 HFP or Instagram and Twitter at the same one. And again, registration is open. So please, please, please register. And if you have questions about registration, please email us. We'll, we'll definitely get you some information to feel comfortable with the process. And it doesn't matter if you're a new beginner or if you're a professional, hey, making a film in 48 hours is anybody's game and it's still fun. It's the most stressful, beautiful, 
rewarding experience all bold into one. So definitely compete. Well, thank you both so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.